Hi, my name is Kadu Sabonga Mabuza. Um, I'm the director of, of the film called Isitlamo Samakawe, The Shield of the Kwabe. Um, the film is written by Tolu Api, known as Tolin Glovu. Um, she is a mature 60-year-old woman, an academic entrepreneur, born and bred in South Africa. Um, she obtained a bachelor degree um, of um, pedagogic um, degree in, in the University of Zululand and honors degree um, in uh, Isizulu and um, at the University of Pretoria. She is an emerging uh, filmmaker. She um, is also a producer of the show. She wrote this lovely piece that talks about um, the, the throne and the greed that um, you normally find within the, the royal families. Um, so, she 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 is an expert in her field um she is also an editor um teaching literature drama poetry linguistics um she's also translating um um you know um writing and she is a researcher by profession she has a passion um in whatever that she do hence she ventured into this um lovely um piece or into the film industry um, she became a lecturer as well um, for a very l a lengthy period. Um, she has a lot of knowledge in terms of um, culture, tradition, um, heritage, rituals. So, which is the reason why she also opted to, you know, to 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 to, to contribute her knowledge into the film industry. Otherwise, me, I'm I'm, I'm a director. Uh, my background is more in entrepreneurship. Um, in fashion um, i have a business that's in fashion we specialize in footwear creation we also teach people how to make shoes um, i've been also doing content creation for brands just to you know have promo videos that they can use um, to advertise their film um, also an entry um, filmmaker um, i also have an honors degree in the field of health science graduated from the university of johannesburg so about the story, um, the story is more um, about the life experiences. Um, the story is, adapt is adopted from the real life situation, the events that has occurred over time um, within royal families. Um, in addition, the story um, portray more of heritage, culture, as I've mentioned before, um, traditional heritage, and rituals that normally happen within the royal houses. So the story is mainly catered for a niche market, um, people who are more um, inclined to culture, African culture, especially South African culture and heritage, you know, people who want to learn about our history, who want to learn about our tradition as Africans, especially South Africans. Um, so the characters of the film, um, they are situated in the 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 royal um, family. Um, as we see, Bonga is one of the characters um, within the the story in Koliwe. Um, and during the story, you um, you come across situation where um, there needs to be an heir or a prince that will inherit, of course, the throne. And um, amongst that, there is. A lot of um, conflict you know um, in terms of who will then you know inherit um, the, the the throne and become the heir and during that there are a lot of um, situation where there's also uh, instances of witchcraft there's also instances of you know um, greed um, and and also wanting to take um, whatever or the throne by force so we come across a lot of um, decisions that um, inform greed or inform selfishness in terms of acquiring the throne point of reference of the story is rooted from the Shaga you know one of the stories that we have looked into and also woman king um, that we've drawn a lot of inspiration from those stories as they they tell more or they have the aesthetics that we are looking for and also they tell a lot of you know african history